Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. It's been a long time. We'll get into that, but today's video I'm going to do a get ready with me. So let's go ahead and get started. But first I'm going to use some of this e.l.f. CBD lip oil. My cat just woke up. I've had such horrible dry lips for a long time and uh, this stuff has fixed it almost. I've got a lot to talk about in today's video and I have this giant box not really, it's not only a giant box, but it is packed full of new to me makeup. I think I might have tried like one or two things out of this. So I'm gonna pick a few things to use today and then I'm gonna do more get ready with me's like more frequently than I used to, to try to get through those and um, get some use out of them. I should probably pick the products I'm gonna be using first. That way I know what I'm going to be doing. So um, for primer, I've already got one foundation. I have, let me see, I've got two new foundations, but I don't think I want to use one today. I think I'm going to use another one um, that's going to be in a project pan. Um, concealer, I'll use the project pan one. Powder, no. Um, hmm. I think I'll pick a, I'll do my normal routine and then I'll pick a palette and a lip product. What in the heck? I just used this Milani, see that? <laughs> I just used this, like when did that happen? It was not like that. I have. I don't think I've ever had that happen where a product just exploded like that. So I have quite a few new palettes and I think I'm gonna go with one that's a little more simple. So I'm gonna use this Milani one in, um, Partner in Crime. It's their most wanted eyeshadows. There's the colors of that. I'll go with an, and I'll go with an easier lipstick. So I'm going to use a Milani. I cannot remember the name of these. I swear. The, I think the color fetish shine lipstick. This one is in the shade nylon. It's kind of a reddish berry kind of color, but I don't think it's going to be that opaque on my lips. So we will see. And in these videos, I usually don't mention what I'm using on my face while I'm doing it, just because it distracts me. So I will try to list everything in the description. I had to look back on my Instagram because I could not remember how long it's been since I've done makeup. And the last time I did was March 16th, which was about a month and a half ago. There's a lot of reasons that kind of just combined all together that I decided to lay off of doing makeup and stuff for a while. I had planned on like physically doing the makeup and just not posting, but I just, I didn't even bother. For a while there, I was really feeling this pressure to, I'm just, every creator goes through this at least once, if not several times. Um, I was feeling the pressure of trying to create and push out content and get noticed and all that stuff. And I just kind of realized that I have been making YouTube videos on this channel. I don't, not really, I mean, I've had like a few smaller channels here and there, but those have, did not work out. So, but I've been doing makeup videos on this channel, makeup and like veganism kind for, oh my gosh, a long time. I want to say like seven or eight years at least. And I know, like, it's not all about the numbers, blah, 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 but you would think after so long that I would have a few more than I have, you know? So obviously there's something not clicking. I know what it was before. I was not, like, I was just putting stuff out and, like, expecting people to like it and, you know, just expecting to grow, but that's not how it is. You have to work for it. And I'd never looked up like any of those um, like advice on how to be successful and all that stuff because I thought that I could figure it out on my own and you know just make it work and like people would like me for me and blah blah blah. It just that was not how it went. Then you were after, even well even after I started doing all that, um, it still just kind of didn't really take off. I mean, my Instagram started growing just a teeny tiny little bit and I got better at taking pictures and doing all that stuff. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it was a lot better than I was doing. And I have noticed consistently that my project pan, no buy, decluttering videos do a lot better than 
other kind of things like hauls or I don't know makeup like just new product videos and all that stuff because people have too much makeup already and they don't need another person influencing them to buy it and I kind of I and I like the project panning community a lot better than like the makeup community in general although there are a lot of good makeup channels um, once you look past the top 10 like people with millions and millions of subscribers there are so many good makeup channels that are like less than a hundred thousand and even like less than 50 or 10,000 really so my voice is off I haven't recorded a video in a long time so I'm I'm sure I'll be angry at myself while I'm editing this for not enunciating but I found an old video from that I had posted on YouTube but it was private um, it was for a school project in college and holy guacamole my voice has changed like a thousand percent for the better <laughs> I don't know what in the world I was doing I mean I was kind of still in the middle of like transitioning my accent which I still have sometimes but I do try to hide it for videos because you could not understand what I'm trying to say it's like when people where I'm from are on TV or something they have to be subtitled <laughs> so that's why uh I learned pretty quickly when I moved um, to where I live now that not everybody has like can understand <laughs> what you say and I never knew that my accent was different until I moved to a different area and I'm still in the same state but it's totally different fighting with this elf setting powder the holes in it are really tiny and it, it's hard to get enough out onto this thing to actually use I'm sure there's plenty of background noise my it's derby weekend and I'm in Kentucky. Um, and my neighbors are having a party. Like they always do. They don't really need a special occasion, but it's especially today because it's derby. Is the derby over already? I really don't know. I'm a vegan, so I don't. But it sounds like they've been swimming because they put in a swimming pool, I think the year before last. And it's only like maybe 70 degrees outside. So I don't know why they're swimming. I put my mirror up on a little bit of higher stand so hopefully I don't have to like duck out of frame every time I need to look up close. And if you've noticed, I am not sitting on the floor now. Um, I rearranged my room. I'm not really, not entirely rearranged it, but I just moved some things around and, um, well, I guess that's what rearranging is. I redecorated my room, I should say, and I've painted the walls. They used to be a very, very dark green, and it was so dark in here, and now it's a lot better with this lighter green. I think I'll do a room tour when I get a few things finished, because I have a shelf and a mirror and a few other things I think that I'm going to try to hang up, but our power drill is somewhere else, so I can't use it right now. Because we were helping my grandma remodel her kitchen and my mom took her tools to her house and it's like three hours away so I don't have them. But I've we have a hammer so I've been hanging up a few things with nails but you need a screwdriver or a uh, but you need a drill for a shelf so. Back to what I was saying about why I've uh, been absent so Partly I realized that something wasn't working and I needed to either niche down or change something. I really am not sure. Then also, like I said, where I'm not sitting down anymore, my the table that I was using was a coffee table and it was, you know, this high off the ground so I had to sit down at it. And I it was really tiring for me, especially if I filmed more than one video at a time to sit in the floor and um you know for an extended period of time like if i do my makeup and film a video even two videos it can be two or three hours and i'm sitting on the floor um and then including the time that i spend like spaced out <laughs> in between videos um like trying to recuperate myself it was just too much and what else is too much i had too much uh, contour there so i remember that i had this table i used to film on this table like forever ago and I remember that I had it in the basement. My brother wasn't using it, so I brought it back up here. 
and the my little drawer set that I have my makeup in fits perfectly underneath of it so that's out of the way and I've got my lights set up and I'm directly in front of the window it is kind of gloomy though it's not really super bright outside hopefully the lights are enough I did get a different backdrop the one I had been using the with the different colored stripes if you've seen my channel before it was okay but like it wasn't perfect so I went ahead and got this ginormous like queen size fuzzy blanket that I was going to try to hang up over that rail that I have over the backdrop stand and I haven't tried it yet um, I'll see how this video goes with the normal just room stuff in the background the problem is what I had before when I was filming against that dark gray closet door was like the juxtaposition of my pale self with the dark color which I'm having now with that door as well so um then I had to put that light on I think that's helping a little bit in the background then if I turn the overhead light on it reflects off of that picture so I'm trying then I was kind of feeling burnt out a little bit as well as with like you know being tired of sitting on the floor and then a video I honestly don't remember what video it was but I had worked on it for a while and then the file corrupted and I didn't know it until I tried to edit it and I thought that my computer was broken but it was just the file that the computer didn't want to deal with um, and I didn't it didn't pop up and tell me anything about the file being corrupted so I just thought that it was a computer and I tried to fix it I tried to use a different editing software and I finally figured out that it was just that one video I tried another video and it worked but my computer was still pretty slow it's kind of old like I want to say it's as old as my YouTube channel because I don't remember editing YouTube videos on my old computer maybe a few so I wound up buying a new computer with my last stimulus check it actually cost more than the amount of the stimulus check Ugh. but I decided to go ahead and get one that would be good and hopefully last me a while knock on wood cross your fingers <laughs> I got one with a very large, um, a large memory and a hard drive as well. I think it's got two terabytes hard drive and maybe th 32 gigs of RAM. I think my old computer only had 16. That's why it was getting a little slow. And it is one of those that converts into a touch screen. Like you can fold it in half and make it a tablet which is pretty helpful. I'm going to definitely do some stuff with that, like the drawing aspect. Then once I got all that sorted, I was like, you know what, while I'm not doing videos right now, I need to redo my room. So I went ahead and painted it. I think it took me just a few days to paint it. I wanted to get it like all done in one day, but that was not going to happen. Because the one wall, if you've seen my other videos, I showed it. I'll show it in another video, like when I do the room tour, I'll show like what it looked like before. But um, this used to be my brother's room and my mom had painted him a mural on that wall over there. And the the wall itself was a really dark gray, like the same color as the door. And then she painted like his name and a little, like his little symbol or whatever for his um, like gaming stuff. So that took like three coats of primer to cover up. Then it took about two coats of this light green to cover up the dark green. I hope I'm like doing my makeup right. I don't know. It's, it's been a while and I'm also trying to talk. So I finally got my room done like as of the last two or three days. And uh, it's the springtime so I want to do everything all at once. I'm still going strong on this setting spray. This is taking me forever to use up. And I couldn't film anything while it was in shambles because I just didn't want to deal with having to move stuff around. I think the setup is going to be permanent, at least the way the table and the lights are sitting. I don't know about the background. I'll probably change what's on top of the dresser at least, like every now and then. I'm thinking about, because there's, I don't know if you can see it, there's a Squishmallow back there. Um, the little black goat. I've been collecting Squishmallows for the past few months and I actually really enjoy it. It's like actually getting me out of the house. So I'll probably talk about that in another video. It's pretty interesting. Like, 
it's basically like the new Beanie Babies. Also something else that I got, I got a... Can so something else that I got recently was a an AC adapter for my camera. I don't know why I didn't buy that before. I honestly thought they were like hundreds of dollars, but it was only like 30 bucks I think on Amazon. But it's a like a battery pack that's connected to a cord that just plugs into where your battery goes on the camera and then it plugs into the wall so you have continuous power. That was a frustrating point for me it was well, especially since I would sit on the floor, I don't want to have to get up off the floor to change the battery. <laughs> so now my only limit on recording is the memory card, which is easier to change. I groomed my brows earlier today for the first time since uh, not doing makeup, so hopefully they're even. And there's been like a lot of other um, pretty serious personal stuff going on as well that's kind of like kept me from doing stuff online and I've taken like a lot of time off, um, especially from work. And it's not like, like everyone is, nobody died or anything, but like, I just kind of haven't felt like really doing much. Okay, this brow is actually pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how I managed, I'm gonna screw it up by messing with it more. But like that was nothing to do with my fiance. So if you're new to my channel, hello, thank you for like watching this video this long. I'm sure it's been a long video already. But my fiance is in the military and he's currently stationed overseas and we still waiting on like when he can come home. So I don't know when that's gonna be. And I have received the first dose of the vaccine I go in two weeks to get the second one. And I got Moderna, which apparently was rare for our area. Like I've heard like nurses and people say that the vast majority of people in our area have gotten Pfizer. So I'm pretty sure that's what my mom and brother got. But when I get the second dose, it's gonna be on a Sunday and I am taking off like at least Monday and Tuesday of work. Like I'm gonna set my shop uh, shipping times to be a little bit longer so I can um, just not do anything because I don't know for sure how it's going to affect me. So my fiance had a pretty rough time with it but it was only for like a day so it's not too bad. This color of this pen I think has changed. It's a little bit darker than I remember it being but not I don't hate it. I redid some stuff on my makeup table too. I got um, a new like clear acrylic drawer thing to put on the desk. That way I have my most used stuff right there and also stuff that's in a project pan so I don't have to have a bunch of different containers sitting out. So I just have that and my um, that basket that I showed you with all the new stuff and then my makeup brushes and then my little this little thing that I keep my sponge on and that's it. And the mirror, of course. I've got it propped up on a, a body butter thing. I kind of toned that down with that brow gel. So it's a little bit better. I don't know. This is going to be... <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm going to be posting this on Instagram or not. But I have all of my eye products like spread out in a drawer so I can see them instead of having to dig through that little cup holder or cup pen holder thing that I was using. A lot better because I can kind of like if my glasses are off I can kind of make out like what each thing is because when it was in that cup it was just like I can only see the caps and that was difficult. So I'm going to use the Milani eyeshadow primer. I have been using the KVD one for a while but I think I'm going to give this one another shot. But yeah still no real word on my fiance like what's going on you know when he's going to be able to take leave and He will eventually, but I just don't know when. So I haven't seen him in over a year. It's actually, it's been about a year and two months. So when people are like complaining about restrictions and stuff, I'm like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> like, just shut up. Like, I mean, obviously we, you know, we knew what we were getting into, but also we didn't. You know, like he enlisted before all this stuff happened. 
and normally we would have been able to see each other I think July was when he graduated so yeah so I got these new mint melt brushes where's the there was three where's the other one from elf um is that a Alrighty, so I'm going to use these, I think, for this look. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of put some on. So my plans for this channel. So I was doing um, a lot of videos before. And I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. So I'm going to go down to two videos a week now instead of three. And I have, like, an actual schedule of when I'm going to, like, film and do them because I before I was just kind of doing it whenever I could but now I have like an actual schedule I, that I'm going to try to stick to oh these wow okay that blends really well so I'm going to upload every Tuesday and Friday should be at 10 a.m. I'm not going to like hold myself to 10 a.m. just in case something happens but um, around 10 a.m. Eastern time and I'm going to film on the weekends and then get them uploaded like I'll probably try to film on Saturday and then try to upload them like either that day or on Sunday and then I still have a Monday as the buffer that way I don't have to rush on Tuesday and I think I'm just gonna post on Instagram whenever because I've kind of I'm going to like I was mentioning at the beginning of the video I'm kind of not really taking this like the makeup stuff as seriously as like a job anymore because I was trying to pursue that for a while there but I think I'm going to lay off of it and um, go with something else that I'll talk about in a second it's because the the vegan and cruelty free niche is so small it is pretty hard to like break into it people that have been doing it for years and years and years like longer than even I have are still not really like making money at it. Like I only, there's only really two um, vegan and cruelty free YouTubers, uh, Rianne and Tashina, which I'm sure you know who they are if you're in the cruelty free niche, but um, they're the only two people that I, they, wow, can't talk. They are the only two people that I know of that like that's their job. So other people like make a little bit our neighbors really like that song driver's license apparently or they're listening to the radio and the radio is playing it over and over i just heard it like three times already today so yeah like i said i've gotten distracted but i was gonna um just post on instagram whenever i can and i'll do like project pan things so oh that's what i was thinking of but on this channel i'm going to be doing mostly like project pan style content like no buy that kind of stuff instead of the consumption and all that I am going to my next video is going to be a project pan update and a no buy introduction so because I just I, I have so much makeup and I haven't used it and I need to stop buying it and actually use some of it up but my plan like outside of this channel so I have my own business called cruelty free stitchery I was linked that in the description box but I have gone back and forth so much with that business. Like, it's my only job right now. It's my only source of income. And it's been doing okay, but not enough. Like, I, if I lived on my own, it wouldn't be enough. There's, like, something... That's what's on my finger earlier. It's, like, a white pieces. I want to use this e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick. It's fairly new. But I need to promote that business more than I am. I've been slacking on it pretty bad. But also, like, if we move, I don't know for sure if I want to take it with me. So I need something else to do. So I had an idea. I've kind of had a few different iterations of this idea that I've tried to do and they didn't really work out. But... I think I've got it planned for the most part. Basically what I think I'm going to do is um, it's going to be like content, videos, blog, all kinds of stuff about 
running a business and then I can kind of like vlog what I'm doing with cruelty free stitchery and then eventually I'm going to do like a case study with a new business that will have a smaller footprint than um, you know the fabric and stuff that I use now and then I'm also going to do like YouTube videos and hopefully monetize those about running a business not like as a guru because there are enough business gurus out there but as more of like a person that you're like learning along with which I know you like specifically may not be interested in business but that's just my plan for a separate channel so that's why I'm not putting that on this channel because I did a few business related videos on this channel and I think it confused the algorithm and people were subscribing for that but then all they got was makeup videos so it's just better for everyone to have it separate and then I can have it may be like a separate name and have like branding and everything for like the website and all that it's just a the solid best option is to make everything separate because I had started I don't know if you remember if you've watched me for a while but I started a planner like a digital planner um, d digital download business and I think I made like 20 bucks off of it but I just, yeah, I figured out a better way to do that and I can incorporate that into the new stuff that I'm doing. So hopefully I can get this stuff off the ground. I'm going to start working on it this week. And then I made myself a schedule of like, I'll have like one whole day a week just to work on that. And then I'll have like the weekend to work on this channel. And it just, I think it'll be a lot easier for me. There's just a lot of stuff. Um, I'll talk about this in a and then yet another get ready with me as well, but I am in the middle of testing for ADHD and autism and executive function or like feeling, which the executive function is kicking my butt recently, um, which is like kind of like the feeling of, it's basically, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. It's like the connection between something that needs to be done and actually doing it like most people have that but I don't so forever I've been like I've known that I needed to have a schedule but there was there's not something inside of me that's like just make a schedule if that makes sense so I finally did it earlier today so let's see if I can actually stick to it so I hope I didn't take off more than I could chew of all this stuff that I'm trying to do because I have done like nothing besides orders and cleaning my room basically for like the last month or so. Because I will do that a lot. I will make like these unrealistic expectations for myself and then get mad when I can't do them. So I'm afraid that's what I'm doing now, but um, we'll see. All right, everything's done with the lips, so let's go ahead and put that on. My lips are still chapped. They have not been chapped for the past like week or so, however long I've been using that e.l.f. lip oil, and now they are. Every time. All right, there is uh, the lipstick. Not a bad color. It's not like a super bright, intense red, so I really like that. So that's the look for today. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Hopefully this video was not terrible. <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to film the Project Pan update. It's kind of like a redo. I'm redoing the products that I had in there because I haven't done makeup in a while and I had some different things that I thought I should work on first. I'm also changing the rules a little bit and adding in the no buy so stay tuned for that video. I do have some topic ideas for other Get Ready With Me's, but if you have any suggestions or things that you want to hear me talk about, let me know in the comments. And I haven't been responding to comments. Um, something else that has been kind of troubling for me was like comments. And even though if people weren't mean, like I don't, I haven't really gotten many mean comments, but I take them as mean. And that is like something that I'm trying to work on um, that's, it's pretty closely connected with what I'm going through with like therapy and stuff. So, um, which I don't know, they can't really fix that. So 
I don't know, it's, um, but if you want to look it up, it's called rejection sensitivity. Um, I have that big time, so. I'm not saying, like, don't be mean to me, I'm fragile, but, like, that's, you know, that is a symptom of whatever it is that I have, whether it's ADHD and or autism or something else, so. So that's why I haven't been responding or looking at comments for a little bit. Um, I did try to get back to a few people, but I will be looking at the comments on this video, so be nice. <laughs> um, and that's about it, so I will see you in the next one. And don't forget, Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Links to my social media and my business will be in the description box, as well as everything else I used today, and I will see you then. Bye.